Or maybe just here, spilling your intestines. Point is, I just don't like you. Hello everybody and welcome to Jurassic World Evolution Return to Jurassic Park. And we will be continuing our playthrough with Mission 6, creating the Compsognathus. I'll bring the microphone a little bit closer now. There you go, look at it. Oh, she's gorgeous, isn't she? And it was this a raptor claw or a raptor ungle? That's like the fleshy bit underneath the claw, I think, if uh, Jim Kirkland has taught me anything. And if I'm wrong, I'm so sorry, Jim. Of course, drinking from the amazing color-changing Mosasaur mug, which you can get in the link in the description down below. So we got a research item from Research Center Light Cable Fence. Do we have some compies? Oh, we have a stegosaur. Wait, why do I have a stegosaur? Was I? Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. This isn't going to be good. Oh, no! No! All oh, my explorers! No, the queue's gone! I'm just, I'm, I'm just disappointed. I, I think that's, that's it. I'm just, I'm just disappointed. I was, I love that. I love those guys. So now we've got a light cable fence. So, oh, that was electrified. And now we got a light, so a smaller one. Interesting. Ooh, and then you've got the heavy cable fences. So what else can we research? Um, eh, let's get arid. Arid's good. Oh, we've also got some dinosaur fossils. Ah, yeah, that's right. Because I before I left the last video, we were going off to uh, collect some Compsognathus DNA. They're almost there. And the support... Actively oh. incubating even more carnivores. Are we, Dr. Sattler? I need the genome first. At least enough to fill in the gaps of a compi. Hammond knew what he was doing when he reached out to you. What does that mean? Ooh. With all due respect, Dr. Sattler, you're a you're zealot. A zealot. <gasps> like he is. No offense. I didn't realize believing in something was a weakness. If my belief ensures the health and safety of life on this island, be it dinosaur, human, or even a tiny little plant, and that's all that matters to me. Say, have you ever heard of summit fever, Dr. Sattler? In mountaineering, it's what gets climbers killed. The desire, the um, compulsion, if you will, to reach the top becomes more important than anything else, more important than survival, even. Um, that's John Hammond. And that's also me? That's what you mean? Ooh. I'm only offering perspective. When you're trying for something, you want to achieve it. Especially something you've dreamt about your entire life. Mm. Um, it's not the goal that concerns me, Dr. Sadler. It's the cost. Mm -hmm. Oh, there you go. Some interaction between Ellie and Leah. They, they don't get on anymore. They really don't. I, d I don't exactly know why. Um, they seem to get on in Jurassic Park and they never really had any bad interactions. That's solid work. Um, if you think about it, they, they've never interacted since Jurassic Park. Occasionally, to explore an evolutionary branch, uh, one must be willing to Ooh, go out on a limb, Jeff. if you'll, if you'll pardon the pun. And this is one of those moments. A new contract awaits. Oh, getting Jeff back in the recording booth. I love it. Love a bit of Jeff. <laughs> so we're, we're trying to get more of the Comsognathus genome. Which we are now 48% of the way there. I have set up some more uh, dig teams. Um, oh, ooh, we've got more ready. Go on, off you go. So if I wanted to, I could crash into a Ford Explorer and then it just wouldn't be able to move. Oh, oh, I think if it has so much, I don't know, if it gets so it damaged so much, I think you have to reset or close down the tour or something like that. Oh, that's what we wanted. There we go. Beautiful Comsognathus. I'd love to see all the different skins that we can put on them as well. I'm hoping that in the challenge mode, there's not any specific, I don't know, like, oh, you have to do this on Jurassic difficulty to unlock a Comstock Nader skin. I guess it's incentive, I suppose. I guess it is. I just don't like having to do hard work. <laughs> oh, look at that Brachiosaur. Oh, they're right next to that fence. Oh, are they not happy? They need more trees. That's interesting. But they could have more trees if... Imagine that. Oh, that's kind of terrifying. Ooh, to know that that could just step on you. Yeah, they could just go over here, right? If they needed more trees. 
He's like right on the road. What are you doing? Ooh, that's gonna hurt if you step on that. Ooh, you're not gonna bash the fence, are you? Don't do it. Oh God, there you go, Fordix. Like, <laughs> ah, little bit of a problem. Oh, we've got a we've got a tourist in there. Hold on. Uh, can we have a check? Oh, there he is. Look at that top. That's a 90s top if I haven't seen one before. Oh, what's this arch? What's this arch above? That's part of the Explorer, right? Hold on, that's new. What? Why is that there? Wait a minute, that wasn't there last time, was it? Did I just never see that, that arch? I think that's just updated. <laughs> that shouldn't be there. Did Universal say, ah, uh, you actually, you know what it is? You need to have it look even less like the Ford Explorer. <laughs> they put in that. Hold on. I'm genuinely curious because I've got the other video re en rendering over here. I want to have a look. Oh, that's so odd if that is the case. So fewer than three guests killed by... I, lo I love Jeff Goldblum's um, or Ian Malcolm's missions. It's just make sure just don't nothing goes wrong for so long. Um, attraction profit per minute and Mementosaurus genome. Oh, we could... You know what, Grant? I'll do it. Just because I love you. Just because I love you. Where's Mementosaurus? Oh, did I do it? Let's get some into an enclosure and make sure they have access to food and water. I will do my best, Ellie. But why in Jurassic Park 3 were you with that other bloke? Oh, there's only Vivid. Oh, okay. Well, we'll definitely make sure they can live a little bit longer. So now their lifespan is 100. 46% on viability with a 40% extra. So we're looking at 86. I think that's going to be good enough, don't you? I think that'll be fine. I don't think we need to worry about that. Ah, look, a Stegosaurus, who's very not happy. Who's probably gonna destroy some fences, but we'll worry about him when the time comes. Some of these animals are aggressive enough without the added stress of hunger. Feed them, or they will feed themselves. And trust me when I say that nobody is gonna like it if that happens. All right, um, you know what? I don't know why, but these guys are just, they're, they're nowhere near the feeder, which is over here. So, with that in mind, I'm, I'm actually really tempted to move the feeder uh, quite a ways away just so that stegosaur doesn't get tempted to smash the fence. I'm gonna put it over there. Just a little bit further away. Oh, there's another one. <gasps> there they are, the compies. Oh, where should we put them? Where should we put them? Oh, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna put them. I'm gonna get a light little cable fence and I'm gonna have them right outside. All right, there we go. I've made an enclosure just in front of the visitor center. I have also put a goat feeder in because I'm curious as to whether a, uh, a Comsognathus would attack a goat. Because uh, we've only seen them eat off the other feeder, the, the regular sort of food. So this will be really interesting. And I'm, I also want to... Oh, oh, is that... Did the place went down? It's, it's, uh, is it drinking? It, it's drinking, but it looks like it's drowning. Wow, we picked the, the best time of day to place these little buggers, didn't we? Right, okay, what is the social grouping? Oh, they like a big social grouping. And population, they're pretty fine with. They are, however, drowning. Like, they're comp they can't float, and they're just running underneath. But you can just listen to sound effects. They're so cute. Oh, we're gonna get some Jeff Goldblum action. Jeff, hello. Is it gonna come in? What? Did I just get gypped out of some Jeff? <gasps> ah, there we go. These islands just can't function if we can't keep the people safe. And losing that battle might, uh, you know, work out for the dinosaurs and their appetites, but for us humans, well, <laughs> not so much. <laughs> I could so see like Jeff now voice acting that and at the time when he was going uh -huh, he's going uh -huh, uh -huh. I could see him doing that in the recording booth my god yeah it's interesting because I don't know if Jeff could act like old Jeff if you know what I mean like 90s Jeff in Lost World because this Jeff's kind of slow and he talks sometimes he talks a little bit fast but most of the time it's slow and thought out Whereas the Jeff who was in the Lost World is 
a million words a second. Why not? Because our hands aren't full enough with walking and crawling dinosaurs, now you want dinosaurs that fly? They're reptiles, yes! actually. And just imagine what it would be like to witness them taking flight within a secured enclosure, of course. Now, I just need to find Cabot. He seems to have flown the coop. Which these dinosaurs, um, sorry, reptiles, there we go. can never do, like ever. And you know that for a fact, right, John? A secured Avery, Dr. Malcolm. What goes in, stays in. But, John, what exactly goes in? Chaos, Malcolm. Chaos goes in. <laughs> oh, this place looks so good at, at night and with the rain. I'm actually tempted now to, uh, to make this a little bit less watery. Just because I want, I want to see the, uh, the compies a little bit. We'll give them like a little stream. Little stream area. But I just want to get to, I just want to get a good look at them and I guess... Oh no, 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 almost. <laughs> I guess the best way to get a look at them is to do this. Oh, there they are, there they are, there he is. Where'd he go? Oh, it's a vivid one. Hello. Oh, where'd he go? There's a goat there, but I don't know. Oh, are they all talking? I want to see them socialize. Oh, look, yeah, look, that's the goat. It's got its own little pole and everything. It doesn't get chained up, though. That's a shame. Oh, my God, yeah. Like, how on earth are you supposed to dart these? They're all sort of running, oh, God, together. I don't know where they're going. Are you going to water? Nope, just running. Just, just running. You think a little dinosaur like that would want to save its, uh... It's strength, but Jesus, they've got a steam on. So now we can actually build the aviary. Um, and now what's the best place to boat? Okay. You can incubate and release pteranodons in an aviary. Uh, you can increase the number of pteranodons that can be supported by an aviary in the info panel. And look, look, pterodons breaking out. Storm damaged aviaries risk releasing pteranodons into the wild. But Dr. it's only Grant, storm. The aviary research is complete. And you believe in the findings? As much as I believe in anything here, which is to say, uh, no. But the engineers are confident in the design. I mean, they went before, too, so you know, we've got that to fall back on. Okay, we'll get this Avery built, powered, and connected to the rest of the park. Then we'll be able to have one of Ellie's favorites, available for study and on display. We're doing it, Alan. We're all doing it. Doing what? Proving Hammond right. <laughs> ah, you love it. Okay, so we got that, and then we also want a Pteranodon sign. Yes, we'll have that on the other way. Boom. Now, you don't want to see the explorers, do you, really? But I don't think... Yeah, I, I can't really place trees. However, ah, maybe I can place uh, these trees. I can, kind of. Jesus, they are fussy. Is there any other ones? Like smaller ones I can place down? <laughs> nah. Oh my god, there's a storm coming? Oh, that's always good. We've got 25 power and this consumes 10. So here it comes. Dun 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 dun. And then they have to take down the scaffolding, I think. You see, it takes a long time to get this thing working. <sighs> And boom, we have an Avery. I can't wait to see them fly. I hope our guests share your enthusiasm, my dear Dr. Sattler. Pteranodons. Alan, pteranodons. Can you believe it? How many times has that question been asked on this island? It's not how many times it's been asked, Dr. Grant, but how many times it's been answered. Today, Jurassic Park takes flight. Right, so now what we need to do... I wonder if, when the Avery's broken, if uh, they you can even place them. Right, okay, we've got two Tyrannodon places, that's good. So, this is how the Avery works. Um, you can increase the number of slots, but the running cost goes up. Um, Tyrannodon's reared, incubation failure rate. It has a lot of statistics, um, and you, you, can have a, you can deactivate it. Huh. But I, um, apart from it costing more, there's no real 
reason why you wouldn't have more pteranodons. So the Easter egg in this one, because there is a few, you've got, uh, let's see, where is it? The Jurassic Park 3 door, there it is. Okay, so I'm gonna go into capture mode here, um, just so you can see it a little bit better, because I don't know how close I can get. So yeah, this, it's exactly the same gate. Like that's the angle where the door goes and <laughs> It's the same door handle and everything. It's beautiful. Um, of course, you've got the walkways there that you can have a look at. They look gorgeous. There is some sort of smoke in there as well. And you can, of course, uh, have a look in. Show view. So these are the views that you'll be able to get. Alan Grant, if only you knew what was going to happen and befall you on Isla Sauna when you accepted that check. <laughs> I don't think you can go down there where the visitors are, though. So you have, that's three, four. This is the fourth one I was telling you where um, you get to look inside and be inside the walkway. Uh, five, six, and that's where you have some Trandons land. Seven, eight, by the water. Nine, 10, where they release them. This is the camera angle you get. So you have 10 different viewage, vi viewage, <laughs> viewing points, uh, which is pretty decent. Obviously, Frontier knew that people were going to complain about, you know, them not being able to break out and that they will. It is a glorified fish tank, so they've given you loads this of ways to see, to see them. This some overtime on your part, but you knew the job was tough before you got here. On the other hand, I had absolutely no idea. <laughs> I kind of want to get the Mementosaurus just because I want it, you know? You know how it is? <laughs> oh, we haven't even seen the Spinosaurus! Is he okay? Yeah, but he's actually really hungry. Uh, okay, can we, can we get fish feeders? Oh, he needs to be a big fish feeder. Big fish feeder. There you go. I've never I've never seen a Spinosaurus feed from a... <gasps> oh, look at that. Oh, it's gorgeous. I think he's just caught whiff of the fish. That's a lot of fish. Oh, God. Why is his tail down like it's dying? Oh, because it is on 62%. Good Lord. Oh, look at that shot with the old on with the Avery behind. That's, that's Jurassic Park 3. Look at that. That's a thumbnail. That's a thumbnail done. Oh, wow. It looks so cool. And now you won't die, Spider. Oh, look at that. It's sort of sensing the vibrations through its snout. And then boom, gets a fish. That's two separate animations. I've never just watched this. I don't think we've ever just fed the Spinosaurus fish. I'd love to see him use his claws. Oh, that's so sweet. That looks awesome. I love it. I love that they went to the extent of doing a couple different animations. What kind of fish are these? They look like ginormous perch. Or well, not perch, uh, roach, I think. Probably just some common common carp looking things i suppose i'm so, I'm so doing this last minute i'm here like rendering episode three like oh great oh, what is this <laughs> was it a stego where's the stego oh no it wasn't although the stego i forgot to move them whoopsie daisies <laughs> well at least they'll be so preoccupied now uh unless oh it was a brachiosaurus Oh, but he got persuaded to get away from the fence by the uh, the cars, so that's interesting. They were happy over here. Why are they... <laughs> Why are they moving? Oh, dear, but hopefully the full explorers can keep them at bay. Oh, we can't change this skin just yet? Oh, that's because we haven't unlocked this skins. Oh, yeah, that's right. Stop it. Stop. You're, you're not going to release the Spinosaurus, all right? This one more trees. Is that it? You want more trees? There you go. That's much better now, eh? Yeah. That's quite nice, actually. It gives um, it gives the tour a little bit of a sheltered and kind of explorer feel to it. The mystery of the excursion. How? Okay. So how are the compies doing in the daylight? They're just running about. Oh no, they're starving. Okay. Yeah. They can't. They can't eat a goat. Too close to the- I don't even see where the dinosaur is. What do you mean too close? The, the little flex, look at this. There you go, okay. Right. Let's observe the feeder, shall we? Now we wait. Oh, first one comes in. Oh, there you go. Gets a little bit. Is he gonna eat it? You can eat it. 
Yum yums. <laughs> oh, he's an old cutie. They should all be coming over here because they should all be starving. I was just hoping they would eat a goat, really. I guess I was wrong. Compies, you don't do anything, do you? How did John Hammond get killed by you? All right, well, apparently only one was hungry. Oh, 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 here they come. Here they come. Are they all gonna... Oh, 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 there you go. So they all have the same animation. They just do... <laughs> They're like in sync. <laughs> oh, look at the skin on them, though. It looks awesome. Oh my god, yeah, they're all around here. Can they only access it from, like, four different angles? Oh. Who's your cutie? Yes, you are. You're a cutie. Deadly cutie. Pretty sure Dito would have uh, something else to say about you. Okay, that should be the Trandon almost done. So let's go get that Mementosaurus. <gasps> We're getting the skins, guys. We're getting the skins. But I will also make a separate video on the Avery. All the skins and showcasing them breaking out. Because I don't think that's something that we can really guarantee is going to happen. <laughs> I don't... We, I think we'd have to get some sort of tornado or something. We'll just fill up... We'll fill up, like, a whole map with Averys. And then just put storms on high and see how often a tornado comes. We're not going to move the raptors out. Just keep them in there. I would say that's a very good idea. Come on, Alan. I want to hear all of the quotes that you can tell me. I'm going to get that DNA. There we go. Mr. Hammond wanted me to thank you for your exceptional effort with that last contract. And now I have. <laughs> I feel like they're building something with Cabot Finch here. Are they going to say why, like, John Hammond died? Like, did Cabot Finch poison the wine or something? I'm getting those vibes from him now. There we go! Completed genome! So we'll go for a regular Pteranodon. Then we'll go for an Alpine Pteranodon. Then we'll go for a Rainforest Pteranodon. Then we'll go for a Jungle Pteranodon. In fact, actually, I don't even need the success ratio on this. Um... Sorry, what's that one? We've got a rainforest, alpine, jungle, uh, wetland. Oh my god, there's so many. And coastal. That's all of them. Wow, okay. So you can't change anything else on the Pteranodons. It's, it's basically like, if you want a better rating on your Pteranodon, give it another skin. So I think it'll be a little bit better. Yeah, 115. Um, and that's about it. You want a better rating? It needs to be 100% genome and have a better skin. Or like anything that's not the Null skin. Which is a shame, because the Null skin's really cool. I like it. <gasps> Look at him. <gasps> Saying hello to the cars. Do you want one? Do you want one? Oh, I did it! <gasps> I mean, we did it. I did it for myself, really. Oh, the bottom Trandons are gonna overtake the top ones because they've <laughs> they've got the mod on for an extra 10% uh, speed, I think. <gasps> are they? Is Trandon number four gonna overtake it? Is it gonna happen? Place your bets. <laughs> oh no, I don't think he's gonna do it. Oh, he was close. He was close. Okay, let's release the null genome. Which should look like the ones we've already seen. It's a shame that it's night and we can't really see them. Is it going to automatically swap to it? Yeah, there it is. <gasps> oh, yes. Gorgeous. Okay, so this one is the Alpine. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I, the animation's all right. It's not too crazy. The fact that they, um, they fly in spot for a second before flying out is a bit dodgy. Yeah, look at you. You're kind of, you're a little bit paler. Just, that's the only difference it seems to be. Uh, rainforest. So far, I'm still liking the original skin over any of the other ones. Right, this rainforest one seems to be the nod towards um, the Lost World Pteranodon. Yeah, I would say so. It's got like a little bit of aquamarine blue, but... It, I would say that's probably going to be it. I don't think... Yeah, we're not going to get a remodel. We're not going to get the Lost World Pteranodon. Or Jurassic World Pteranodon. Oh, this looks like the Jurassic World Pteranodon. Has it got red on it instead? 
I was going to say, can we get it by the light? Eh, a little bit. It does have red on it, just a tiny bit. I mean, what I'll do is once we've um, once we've released all of these and it becomes day, we'll have another look at them. And there'll just be another video on them separately, so we can get a lovely good view of them. This is the one that looks like the Tapijara. <laughs> Nobody, Beaver. Tapijarasaurus. <laughs> I love that, that was awesome. Yeah, that's more of a green one. The pattern seems to be the same. They just change like a little bit of the skin tone. We're not getting anything too crazy here. Ooh, the coaster looks to be more dark. A little bit of gold. It's like an Indoraptor Tyrannosaur. Ah, it's a birdcage! We did it! We got the achievement! Awesome! whoop -a! And there it is. Mission 6 complete. That means... Oh, we got night vision now. Oh, and this is it, the final mission. At this point, we're just going to continue to add to the populations, dinosaurs and humans... Increase the density and capacity of both. It's a miracle. Two creatures from the same place, but different worlds. The dream, Dr. Malcolm. The dream. The dream of dinosaurs once again roaming the Earth. Belief pays off. Ellie, the dinosaurs went extinct because they were supposed to. Survival of the fittest. Nature's law. Oh, it's already unlocked. But a new god has spoken. He wears a white cabana shirt and walks with a cane. <laughs> this is John Hammond's world now. We're just, just surviving in it, marking time until we're not. We didn't suffer in vain, Ian. Something good and wonderful came out of this. Living dinosaurs. Yeah, good, wonderful. The chaos is coming, Dr. Sandler, but, uh, I do admire your optimism. Ah, research available, T-Rex fossil access. I did have a look and I didn't seem to, what, why is there a fence broken? What, what? I knew that pesky stegosaurus were selling them. Oh dear, oh dear, oh he got kicked. He got absolutely kicked. Why are the triceratops has migrated over here? There's no food over here. God damn it, okay fine. I guess I could give you some food. There you go. And some water. Why not? Have that too. Okay, guys. We're going to wrap it up here. Um, join us for the final episode. I, is it today or tomorrow? Anyway, in the final episode, we'll do a giveaway. The 10 copies of Return to uh, Jurassic Park. And if, of course, you get this campaign. You get the Jurassic Park uh, sort of style to the game. And the Ford Explorers. You get loads of stuff with it. Not just the campaign. And the dinosaur skins as well. Which are uh, probably one of the main reasons to get it. <laughs> I've got to admit. But if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye-bye.